Okay, Patrick. Great class. Um, we worked on we worked on some things. It was it was pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, what I want you to work on are the uh, the droning techniques uh, using the first string as your guide. Um, we're gonna work on on that with your with the A pentatonic. Okay, so. Also work on it with the uh, with the E pentatonic because you know um, it's always good to to be a bit uh, flexible, right? Uh, so we had right. Before we ended the class, uh, we were talking about the difference between the C and the G major. And as you know, okay, it's the F sharp. The F sharp's in there. Um, I want to show you something. Um, because I said the F sharp was a, could be used as a tension note. All right. Do you remember when we did the A pentatonic? We did. We did that. Okay, and then we did a modified A pentatonic, which was this. Well, there's another, there are other, other uh, variations of something more complex as far as a A pentatonic, where you can go 5, 7, 8, 5, 7, 8, right? It's, or you can go 5, 7, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? Five seven five seven eight, but you can also go five seven eight five seven eight. Or or you can do so many different things there, but here's the thing. If you watched what I did, I played a uh, F sharp in there. Okay? Now I'm going to show you what the point is through call and response. All right. Um, I'm going to play, I don't know, uh, C major, C major scale. Then I'm going to play the A pentatonic back to back. Okay, so you can play, you can use the F sharp in there. It'll work. It'll definitely work. You just have to know how to use it. All right, so you could even use this technique uh, if you're doing like meditations or something like a classical um, type of a method. Uh, if you're doing like a composition or something, you can do something like this.
Okay, so I did use the F-sharp in there, okay? I also used the F in there. Um, it was in a couple of different spots that I did that. All right, so there's, there's different ways you can do this kind of thing. Um, the only way it will really, really be noticeable as far as sounding wrong is if you have chords like a D, and then you have like an A minor, you have a C, and then you have a D. And you're just kind of lingering on the note. You do some of those types of things. You know, if you're lingering on the note, um, you're like calling attention to it. So then it's going to sound wrong. But if you approach the, uh, the one note difference as a tension note, there's a lot of things you can do there. Um, and what you're going to notice is that the G major scale and the C major scale are actually one, okay? And the, the E pentatonic and the A pentatonic are actually one as well. You just have to kind of know how to, how, to, how to deliver those notes, right? How to express them. And that's basically it. Um, practice um, this method. Uh, you'll, you'll find it when you're doing the, the droning exercise. So I just did an E pentatonic and an A pentatonic. All right. So so after a while, it just kind of all sounds together um, because the the you're kind of moving through your your expression. You're like really moving and and whatever note it makes the difference between those two. If it's like an F sharp or something, it will. If you play it a certain way, it will go into the next note and it will just the transition is, is, will be very smooth, all right? But it's in according to the way that you play it, all right? Um, so having said that, I want you to play around with the call and response for each of those scales, both on the G and on the key of C. So you're, you'll be working virtually with your uh, G major, your E pentatonic, your E natural minor, right? your C major, your A pentatonic, and your A natural minor. You can even use harmonic minors in there if you if you want to challenge yourself and see how how crazy things can be. Now, when you do this, I challenge you to um, go to your your pentatonic scales and see see if you if you observe anything. Both the E pentatonic and the A pentatonic. Um, to really drive the point home, when you're when you're playing your pentatonics, use the slide, the slide technique. Right, play around with it. Play around with it, just so you can hear a rise and a fall of the note. Right. Um, and keep it within the genre of like that soulful kind of feeling, all right? It, it, will, it will make sense in a different kind of a way. Okay, my friend, you did a really, really good job. If you have any questions, as always, you know, just uh, send an email or leave a comment below. All right, thank you for your hard work, and stay safe over there in Maine. And enjoy your stay. Have a good one. God bless.